Alright guys, so it looks like I had to make another uh, video for this because there were some issues with a Windows update that caused my initial tutorial to become outdated. Somebody in the comment section figured it out, I pinned the comment, but since people don't know how to read it, I have to do it here. So what I'm going to do is, for everybody that had the software working before and it just stopped working, all you have to do is uh, search up add or remove programs on the start bar. I already uninstalled mine so it's not going to be there, but you're basically going to want to scroll down to the M's. And you're going to uninstall uh, Microsoft Game Input, which should be right under Microsoft Edge Game Assist or right along here since, I mean, E, uh, G comes after E. So, I mean, that works. So, that's what you're just going to have to install. That was the whole reason that it stopped working with the software. So, if you already had it working, that was a simple solution there. Now, we'll continue on to the tutorial on how to uh, get it for everybody that is seeing this video for the first time or seeing my tutorial for the first time. So, what you're going to do is simply just go... Uh, to my description that I, where I linked all this stuff, are you gonna download RB4 Instrument Mapper from GitHub? Uh, this is the newest update. Uh, it's everything is just fine, and apparently there's a tilt range adjust, adjustment with this as well. So perfect. All you have to do is click download. It might yell at you and say the file is unsafe. You can just click the drop down and uh, push through the download anyway, and you'll be perfectly fine. Next thing you need is Vigambus. Uh, which you need in order to run RB4 Instrument Mapper with the Rift Master. After you download and install Vigabus, restart your computer because it needs to be in, it needs to be restarted, um, and then just go into RB4 Instrument Mapper. Super super simple. Okay. Now that we are in here. Uh, we have to just click on the drop down box over here. If you were seeing a count of zero, refresh it. It will give you a count of one. So all you're going to have to do is click on the drop down and click Vigum Bus. If you want to do RPCS3, this is what you click on for like console emulation. But if you just want to do Clone Hero, Vigum Bus is perfectly fine. And if you play Yarg, just like I said in the last video, that makes this whole tutorial irrelevant. And you can just use this guitar on Yarg with no software at, at all. No uninstallations needed. Anything like that. So now all we're going to do is just click start. And it's going to basically just do that. Something changed with this. For some reason, there's an extra step added. Uh, it likes to remove the input. All you gotta do is click refresh, and it brings your guitar back up, which is awesome. Uh, it actually took me a minute or two to figure that out, but that's another step that was added onto this. So, as you can see right here, I'm just gonna unassign the guitar, and then I'm gonna click assign controller and click the button just to show you guys that it mapped. So basically, now that you have it mapped, uh, initially what you gotta do is just either hit this for space or you can just click on it or click the space bar for controls and then do what I did by assigning the controller and clicking if it wasn't assigned already and you can map each button to this corresponding color just by clicking on this thing and basically just hitting the button and it'll map everything as you can see all my buttons are mapped you can see that my guitar was connected so obviously there's no issues so uh, I don't need to go through the whole thing if you want to really have a step-by-step -step process on how to get this thing set up um, I made another tutorial for it as well. But anyway, guys, that was simple enough. Uh, it's not it's not bad. Luckily, uh, the solution was figured out. Hopefully, Microsoft doesn't screw us over again with another update that makes me have to make another one. But either way, they're just giving me money just by doing this because I'm making ad revenue off of this. So yay! Uh, so just to break it down again, uh, you just uninstall uh, Microsoft Game Input from the Add or Remove programs, download Vigum Bus, restart your computer, download RB4 Instrument Mapper, Go into RB4 Instrument Mapper, refresh the settings, click start, refresh again, and then you can go right into Clone Hero, click space for the controls, assign the controller, and then map your controls accordingly, and you will be perfectly fine. So, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video. Or, hopefully there's not another video for this, but I'm going to jinx it just like I did last time. So, yay! I'm making more money.